Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to be hooking up this hyper tough bucket topper, uh, bucket converter, vacuum, wet, dry vac, whatever you want to call it, uh, that I got from Walmart for literally 25 bucks. And I bought this five gallon bucket from Walmart for $3. So all in all, $28 for a bucket. Uh, and there's a reason why we're going to talk about this. Let me tell you why. All right, so you can see up here, I have the HFS 800 vacuum system hooked up to the uh, CL 4x4, and it is an absolute beast. I love it. It's got filtration. Uh, it's actually got three different filtrations. It's got a major filtration, it's got a fine particle filtration, and it's got a carbon filtration. So that thing is really, really good, but it's also $300. I don't want to buy another one right now, but I'm going to hook up right here on my 8040. I need a dust collection system on it because check this out. I did a project the other day. I don't have any dust collection and it's just an absolute mess. I, it just, I, I don't know. So what I'm going to do is right here in this corner, it's perfect spot. I'm going to go ahead and hook up a little shelf that's gonna go right here and I'm gonna drop that bucket inside that little corner. Let me show you. All right, so you can see right here that I already have this piece of wood cut ready to go. It should fit in that corner just perfect. And what I'm gonna do is cut a little hole for this bucket to drop into and it should sit really perfectly inside that hole and that vacuum will sit right on top and then we should be good to go. I also have a relay switch that I'm going to hook up to all of these components together so that bucket will go ahead and uh, hook up to the relay switch. So when the motor and everything turns on, that vacuum should automatically kick on and clean all this up. But first what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and just see how this thing works. Let's go ahead and unbox it and then uh, just suck all this up and see how it does. Hi. All right. All right guys, let's go ahead and open it up, check it out, see what comes inside this thing and how it hooks up to the bucket. Comes with a hose, everything you need right here. This should be enough hose length to go with the CNC. So I can already tell you that I like about this is that it's really low profile. It's not going to stick way up super tall or anything like that. This has actually very little weight to it. Um, pretty nice. Here's a little clamps. Looks like it'll just clip onto the bucket. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this dust bag on here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see if this thing fits on, so on top of the bucket. Drops right on top like that. It's nice and snug too. And that's it. All right, so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and drill this hole into the piece of wood down here and we should be ready to rock and roll. All right, what I did was I used the edge of the pencil to keep that space off of the bucket because I want this hole to be a little bit bigger in the bottom of the bucket so that it slides all the way in but not too far in so it'll be nice and snug because this bu bucket does have a little tapered edge it flares but if i cut right along the line of that black line that i drew with the pencil this should drop right inside that hole so let's go ahead and cut that hole the funny thing is i'm actually using a hyper tough jigsaw that i got from walmart for like 20 bucks so this thing good i don't use jigsaws that much but uh for 20 bucks it does the job I think what I'm going to do before I do this, I'm going to use a Forstner bit and put a big hole. That way I can run the cable, the power cord through. I just thought about that. All right, now that I went ahead and I got that in, let's go ahead and drop the bucket and see how it fits. All right, guys, now that I went ahead and I got the bucket mounted on the wall when it's mounted inside, and it fits perfect, by the way. It's an absolute dead fit for the dust shoe that is on my Fox Alien XE Pro. But let's go ahead and power this thing on and see how it actually sucks. All 
right, guys, that is it. That is the Hyper Tough. Uh, this thing actually works really good. It cleaned this up. I think it's going to be perfect for this CNC machine. Again, it was only $25, not a paid post, not a sponsored video or anything like that. Just something very inexpensive that I needed to get to hook up to this machine. Uh, with that being said, we only have one more thing to do. Let's go ahead and get my relay switch that I have for this machine. So now when I power everything on, it should automatically kick on when the spindle kicks on. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get that thing and plug it all together and we should be good to go. All right guys, so the one thing that I'm not too fond about on this uh, switch right here is Fox Alien did not put any kind of wall hangers. Uh, that way you can hang it on the wall or anything like that. I'm, I really wish they would put like little holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if there's any space behind this that I can actually make my own. What I don't want to do is I don't want to cut into this. I should have a little bit of room. We should be able to go ahead and make some hangers and uh, get that done. Almost hit a wire, but I think we're going to be good. Hopefully I should be able to get a screw in there and we can hang this up on the wall now. Let me put it back together. All right, we should be good to go. I got all my spindles hooked up correctly. Now when I turn on the spindle with the CNC machine, we should be ready to rock and roll. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and hook up the laptop to this and just do a really quick test cut and just to see if it all turns on and uh, see how it does. So I went ahead and hooked up my laptop. I don't have an end mill or anything like that inside the spindle. What I'm gonna do is just tell it that this is the home location and uh, just to see if I have everything hooked up right and if my relay is connected to the vac, because if it is, I am good to go for future projects. Let's go ahead and try it out. We're gonna go ahead and say that this is the home position. Bit is raised up, spindle is on. would help if I had this thing plugged in. <laughs> All right, guys, I don't even have my relay plugged in, so that's why nothing was working. Let's try this again. Hey, hey, hey. All right, light is on. We are, let's see if my bucket is on. It is in the on position. I think we should have everything set. Let's try this one more time. We're going to use this as the new position. Let's raise the bit. And if I hit turn the spindle on, everything should turn on. Spindle is going, we are good. Everything is great and we are ready to rock and roll. All right guys, that is it. That is the video. That is the Walmart $25 hyper tough five gallon bucket shop vac that I'm going to be using for the XC Pro 8040 going forward. Now I won't have any more messes. I really do like the fact that uh, I have a dust collection system on each machine that I have. And as a matter of fact, right here on the Masuder 3, and what you see right here is the Masuder Pro. Uh, I do have a new video coming out on the Masuder 3S next week. This is actually like a midweek video. I'm actually going to post this because I'm going to do another video. So I just wanted to post this in a midweek role, which I don't normally do, but we're going to be doing a video on the M3S uh, so, which is really awesome because I have one thing here that is going to be my dedicated laser because I'm going to be getting the um, extension kit, but we have this right here as well. This is the little fume hood that they have so that you can suck up actual fumes and stuff like that while you're lasering, which is pretty awesome. So we'll do a video on that. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. I just wanted to show you this because honestly, for 25 bucks, 
That is gonna work absolutely perfect. It's a little big and bulky in the corner, but you know what? It'll get the job done. So if you're looking for something super cheap, this is the way to go. If you want something that is super effective, the HSF 800, uh, it has multiple filters and stuff like that. It has that carbon filter, so you can really get some clean air. But again, it's a little bit of higher end vacuum and stuff like that. But if you're going cheap, Walmart, cool and awesome. Go with the HFS 800. All right, guys, that is it. That is the video. If you like this video, go down below and hit the like button. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell button. That way you get notified of all of my newest videos. But until the next video, make sure I'll do one thing. Stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.